Drones are the subject tonight in our It's the Law segment. From crashes on the White House lawn to being banned from football fields, this machine is catching a lot of criticism. Jay Davis is here to weigh in on that. Jay, thanks for coming on with us. Sure, Scott. Absolutely. Jay, let's set this up a little bit. When you think about drones, first off, you're thinking about more so of the, the uh, machines that are in the military that go over the Middle East, things like that. But it turns out that a lot of people are using these drones and fly them as a hobby. Right. right, people have been using what's being called drones now forever, remote control airplanes. Right, you, right. you see them everywhere. And so now some are asking for those drones to be banned from open air stadiums, heavily populated areas, things like that. So do you have the right to take it down if it's over your private property? That's what a lot of people are asking. Can I just shoot it down? Right. Okay, and the problem is is that you, you just can't shoot somebody else's property. There, there are rights to, to, tr to, uh, to go through the air for airplanes and other and stuff like that. The, the test is whether or not it's a nuisance. If the plane becomes a nuisance, whether it's low, whether it's big, whether it's small, whether it's remote control, whether somebody's piloting it, if it becomes a nuisance, that's when you have a right to act, but you're not going to be able to, sh uh, to shoot it down. Maybe a drone at some point in the future, but right now you can't just shoot down somebody else's airspace mm -hmm. um, without some sort of probable cause to do so. Look at these little small things right here. You say, hey, this won't do that much damage, but surprisingly, in some cases, these things can actually cause a lot of damage. These things can, now you might not know this, but I was in air traffic control and prior yes, to- Yes, yes, you were, yeah, I did know that, prior, yeah. Prior to going to law school, that's the way I paid my way through school. But those things can do a lot of damage in, uh, in engines, particularly the smaller, lightweight aircraft. In a bigger plane, that might go right through the engine and not do any damage at all. But in small aircraft, that could be a, a big problem. Somebody's trees, somebody's animals, those types of things, those, those things can cause a problem. They can create problems with animals reacting and what happens with that. So who's liable for that? Who's liable is going to be the person who owns and who's, re, who's operating that, uh, that thing if it was unreasonable. If it's not considered a nuisance, it's, going to, it's just not going to be anything. But if it creates, creates something that's caused or becomes a nuisance, if it makes your chicken run down the road, <laughs> it's probably not anything. But if it, if it creates some sort of uh, turbulence, something that's a nuisance, then who, the owner is going to be responsible. And now we talked a little bit earlier about where our property lines begin. Right. So I want to make sure we get that clear. People own property. They own a segment of land normally, uh, sometimes with some waterway or something like that. And they own that in a sort of in a flat thing we think of it, how big their house goes. But not vertically. How lows. That's not true. They do go vertically. It doesn't go to the top of your house. It just keeps on going. So you own everything above you. And if you start digging, you own everything below you. You find gold, you find oil, whatever you find that's yours as long as it's, it's in those things. But people do have the right to fly through it. That is, that's commonly held these days. That's a, that's a norm. All right, Jay Davis, good information there. And as always, we want to hear your legal questions. Email us at itsthelaw at 41nbc.com, and we'll do our best to answer it during our It's the Law segments right here on the News at 6.